In this video we're going to see how to create the clustered column chart uh, for the employment, um, the employment numbers by industry for the first tutorial task. This is the Mac version if you're, if you're using a Mac. If you're using Windows there's a separate video for you. Uh, here's the data. Uh, we have uh, the 1986 numbers and the 2016 numbers and we want to do a column chart for that many of the numbers. So we'll leave the totals out and we'll just look at each of the individual industries. So start out by selecting those two sets of numbers just like that and having done that then we want to create a chart and in particular we want to create a custom, a custom, a clustered column chart. So select that option from the, the column selection there and it creates it right there, like that. So that's a good start. You can leave your chart on the worksheet. That's that's perfectly fine. Um, what I prefer to do is to move the chart to its own standalone worksheet. So what I've done there is just done a right click on the border of the chart to bring up this menu. And after right clicking, go down to say move chart. And we'll create a new sheet which we'll call let's say, I don't know, clustered um, column chart without the funny capital letters perhaps, clustered column chart, like that. Okay, call it whatever you like. And we'll go OK. And now we've got the chart that looks like this. And that's pretty good. We have the required um, blue bars and red bars for the 986 and 2016 but we need to put some labels on this otherwise we don't know what's going on in this chart. So first of all uh, we want a title. Now there's the, all these customized uh, layouts that you can choose one of these uh, ahead of time. Notice this first one for instance has a title on it so if we just click on this you can experiment with this in your own time but if we just click on this one we're going to get a title you can see that that's that thing there and we're going to get a legend and we want that as well so let's just click on that and we now have a format that allows us to put in let's say a title uh, in here um, I'll just do something quick like employment by industry for instance uh, and this is numbers right so this is um, we should say something like numbers rather than percentages which we'll do with a relative frequency distribution so something like that uh, what else do we want? Over here, Series 1 and Series 2, that's not very informative. And we also want to fix up this x-axis so that it has the proper industry names along there as well. So we want to fix up both of those. Uh, to do that, we go under this Data tab and go Select. And in Select, you can then see that the series names are popping up here. So we'll just rename those to something more informative. Instead of Series 1, we'll go 1986. And for series two, we will go 2016. Okay, and that's fixed up the legend. That's what we want. Now we just want to fix up the x axis. So we'll go back to select here, and the x axis labels will be found in this little window. So we'll just click there and then select these industry names. So I'm just dragging down over them and selecting all 18 of those industry names which are now contained in that window there. And we'll go OK. And there we have our custom clustered column chart. We could just leave it in that format. That's already pretty nice. If you uh, don't like these vertical axis major grid lines, then you can just hover the cursor over to select them like this. I'm now right clicking to come up with the menu and they can be deleted. But that's not compulsory, I think they look a little bit cluttered, but if you want to keep them to allow comparison across the columns, then obviously you could keep them. But if we click on delete, they will be gone and we now have a nice looking column chart.